Greetings explorers, welcome back to another Leathercraft tutorial. For this video, we are going to be making portable dice trays. These dice trays are fantastic because they come with snaps built in and can be taken to any tabletop adventure that you might have, whether it's at a diner, at a friend's house, or even your own home or game shop. This dice tray also doubles as a great tray to hold things like keys, your wallet. It also can be used as a platform to help elevate things or in some rare, rare instances, it is also a really weird and fantastic cat. But besides those points, let's go ahead and see what we need for this project to go through and make our own portable dice tray. For this project, you will need thick leather, a writing utensil, scissors, a punch, a groover, a beveler, water, saddle soap, sponge, brushes, leather stain, and felt. The first thing we do is trace our portable dice tray template onto the back of the thick leather. A copy of this template can be downloaded by members of our Patreon, link below in the description. Once the template has been traced, we cut out the dice tray. And then we proceed to cut out the little lines for what will be the flaps for the portable dice trays. After we finish cutting out the dice tray, we can then punch out the holes for where the snaps will go. These are the punches I could use to punch out the holes for the snaps. One of these has a punch that will make a hole big enough for the snaps to just simply slide into, and one is smaller and will require me to make multiple little holes in order to get the snaps to fit. I chose the second option because with the smaller tip, it actually goes through the thick leather a lot more easily, at least in my opinion. With everything cut and punched, we can now make the grooves for where our dice tray will fold to make it fold more easily. This is done with a tool known as a groover. To ensure that your grooves are straight, you can use a ruler, a lid, or something else that can give you a straight edge. Once we finish grooving, we can then bevel all the edges of the dice tray. We will have a link to our crafting basic tutorial on beveling in the description and in the cards. We will be beveling both the outer edge as well as the inside edges of the flaps. The inside edges may be a bit hard to bevel using the wheel, so you may want to use a bit of cardboard in order to go through and get those little notes.
Now that we have traced, cut, patched, grooved, and beveled, we can get into some of the creative design part. The next step I will be taking is staining, but if you wish to do any tooling on your dice tray, do so before you start staining. I am using a really dark green stain that will lighten up with yellow stain. When I apply the stain to the outside, I use a dry brush in order to create a wood-like texture. I will then later add some darker green using a dry brush technique as well in order to add some variation. I then use the green stain as the main color for the inside of the dice tray using a wet brush along with adding water to the leather. If you want to learn more about staining, check out our Crafting Basics tutorial on staining. Links are in the description as well as the card. Our second to last step is adding the snaps. We will be adding eight snaps to our dice tray, each snap consisting of four pieces. To learn the details you need to add snaps, grommets, or rivets to a project, visit our Crafting Basics tutorial for this process, also linked below and in the cards. The final step for our dice tray is gluing in the felt bottom. Please note if you like how the dice tray looks with just the leather, you do not need to add felt. We add felt to help soften dice rolls and protect the leather from getting scuffed, especially for those of us with metal dice. To glue in the felt, you can use leather glue, but for this video we actually use wood glue.
there you have it, your very own custom portable leather dice tray. Thank you guys so much for joining us for this other craft video. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. You can actually get early access to our crafting videos by going through and joining our Patreon, Explorers Emporium, Explorers Extraordinaires. Mouthful, the name is right there, as well as a link down in the description to our Patreon if you guys wish to join. In addition to getting early access to these videos, you actually get access to crafting templates like the one that you saw in the video that we used to make this dice tray, as well as potential access to exclusive discounts on the crafting materials that are used to go through and make crafting items like this. Thank you guys once again so much for joining us in this video, and we wish you all safe travels on your journeys, and happy crafting. Bye guys.